Welcome to Company Havoc number two. We're attempting this again. This is part two. I deleted the last video because I actually gave T. Smith's name out. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give the initials to the girls, and then we're going to jump straight to T. Smith and her story, and then Sophonia and her story, and why I don't like date black chicks. All right, and that I will never date black chicks ever again. So if you're watching this and you're black, I am truly sorry that I've offended you. All right. So S. Williams and L. Turner in grade school had told me that I would never be good enough to date black chicks. All right. That stuck in my head. Now, Tutu was a light-skinned black girl that I dated until she moved away. And that was before the bad stuff started happening. Emily, who I dated before Tutu, who was a black girl, who was a dark black girl, who was a hot mess, who just did shit to piss me off. And then, amongst with that, with um, L. Turner and S. Smith rubbing it in, so I would never be good enough for black chicks, and it just ate my mind to pieces. And so I stopped messing with black girls in grade school. And I got to middle school, I didn't really mess with black girls, because I started messing with T. Smith. Now, with T. Smith and with Sophonia, Here's where we take you to their stories. T. Smith and I was 12 years old, and I had a summer romance with her, and I thought everything was going to go smoothly until she told me she needed a week away from me. And I gave her that week, and she brought a new boyfriend to the house. And the longest short is, I gave him boots to ass, and I threatened to make her crash her bike every day, because it was one of the motorized scooter things, if she came to go see him. But if he came to come see her, I threatened to beat his ass every day until I go back home to Charlottesville from Smithville. So, she would always drive out to go see him, and I always bust out the door and try to make a crash goddamn scooter. Yes, I'm ashamed of that shit, but that's what I did. I owe my sins. So, eventually, I got over it, and I went back to Charlottesville. Before I went back to Charlottesville, I started talking to Sophonia. So, Sophonia's daddy and my daddy used to work together at um, Tom and Jerry's or whatever. They were mechanics, so they did their thing. And so, one day... You know, me and Sophonia, yeah, finally, I didn't know that my daddy and her daddy, I didn't know she existed until the day I kept trying to show off and I bust my tire and got her attention, got my tire fixed, and we started talking, we started hanging, we started doing things that we were going to do as teenagers, so basically all we did was kiss. Anyway, so one day, I'm walking her home, she's on this side of my bike, I'm on this side of the bike, and this dude rolls up, who's 23 years old, who's her actual boyfriend, and he has a gun. So, he pulls up on us, and I'm like, okay. And he goes, what are you doing with my girlfriend? So, what do you mean, this is my girlfriend? He's like, no, this is my girlfriend. And I was like, well, how old are you? He's like, I'm 23. And I'm like, dude, we're 14. She's my girlfriend. He's like, no, she's my girlfriend. She's been my girlfriend for a long time now. So, apparently, she's already had sex, and she's over the ball game with me. And no one told me that she had a boyfriend. She didn't tell me she had a boyfriend. And this guy has a gun. Did I mention he had a gun? Because he has a gun. He has a gun right at my face. So, it's, a, it's far enough that I can't get it, you know. And I know Kung Fu. But I can't fight a 23-year-old with a gun. So he's threatening to shoot me, blah, blah, blah. He's talking to her. He's berating her. He's shooting me off the shit out of his mouth. And he's talking all kinds of shit. What he doesn't know is that my dad has a gun lined on him. So he says, I'm going to kill you now. And my dad says, you go ahead. You shoot my son, I shoot you. And by the way, you said you were 23 and you're dating a 14-year-old. You know that's illegal in 50 fucking states. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to put your gun down. You're going to get in your little 10-speed and ride out of fucking town. And if I see you again, I will kill you. So he puts his gun in his pocket, gets on his 10 speed, turns around, and rolls out. Now, I'm still in fucking shock. And I'm like, why the fuck you ain't tell me you had a boyfriend? He's like, well, I said, you know what? Don't even bother. Then my dad comes out and says, James, or Jimmy as he calls me, get the fucking house. Get in the fucking house right now. Take your bike. It's following you. Let's go. So he walks her to her dad's house. Now, as for the 10 speed college kid or whatever who was trying to shoot a 14 year old kid in the face, I have no idea what happened to him and I don't really give a flying fuck. But the point being made is that these four black women changed the fate of how I would live the rest of my life with dating black women. And I had decided right then and there after looking down the road of a gun that I would never date another black woman as long as I am living. And I have kept my word to that. I only date Asian girls and white girls. And if you don't like that, if you have a problem with that, I'm sorry. I do not blame other black women for that. But on a side note, I am also not really sexually attracted to black women. I am totally sexually attracted to Asian women and white women and mixed women because I'm also biracial or multicultural, depending on what you want to call me at the time that you meet me. But it's just not for me. Now, again, if I have offended anybody with these two videos, let me explain it to you. I don't date 
somebody to make you happy. I date someone to make me happy. I've had my family, specifically a certain uncle, ride my case about why I don't date black women. And yet their kids were allowed to marry white women. So yeah, I can marry who I want to. I don't have to follow you because you were happy that you married a black woman. Maybe that black woman made you happy. Or she gave you two kids. No, black women don't make me happy. I don't have anything against them. They're just not for me. I'm not sexually turned on by black women. And it's not that I'm going to have every black woman come in here to try to fuck me and do all this other dumb shit. Because that's not what it's about. It's about who I can compatibate with. I do kung fu. I love Asian women. If you have a problem with that, that's your problem. It's not my problem. Because I'm living for me, not for you. I hope I clarified some shit up for you guys. Thank you for watching. Be seeing you.